Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, I just finished watching Outer Banks season 2 and my god, I love that show. So, I decided to make some Outer Banks inspired bracelets because there's a lot of patterns that have been going around for like Outer Banks patterns. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> so, yeah, I sat down today and I made a bunch of Outer Banks bracelets. So, that's what this video is. I will not be doing any in-depth tutorials on any of these patterns, but I do have a tutorial on how to read alpha patterns. So you can still make these bracelets yourself. And all the patterns that I made today will also be linked down below if you guys are interested in making them yourself as well. And let's just get into the video. I also will be talking about the show and, you know, spoilers and stuff like that in the voiceovers of making the bracelets. So if you don't want to hear those, either skip through it or just turn the volume down when you're watching it. Um, but yeah, we gotta talk about the show, so... Okay, so I do have a couple of Outer Banks patterns on my to-dos already. I'm sorry if you can hear my boyfriend yelling out there. Um, this one's super cute. It has a peach on it. Um, this one, yeah, this one's okay. I don't know if I like the hang loose sign. These ones are all so cute. I really like these three right here and then I also really like this peach one. So I think I'm gonna make at least the four of these. They're super tiny so they should not take me long at all. And then let me go ahead and look up and see if there's more. There's some really cool like oh my god like this is sick. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love this. But like, this is humongous. This would take me forever. But I really, really love that pattern. That Oh my god, that one's so good. This one's pretty. Oh my god, I love this one. Oh my god, I just love all of these, you guys. Like, I'm... Oh my god, people do such a good job of making these adorable patterns. Okay, I think I know which ones I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make five. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this one this one this one this one and also this one <laughs> okay so we have this pogue one with like a little hawaiian flower this is number 102666 on bracelet book this one um obx with like the hawaiian flower background this one's really cute and just like simple this is number 94604 um this pogue is what i love like the gradient blue with like the little hang loose that's super fun this is 92 sorry this is 95254 on bracelet book. Um, this one's super cool. The OBX, like the wave background, that one's sick. This is 99363. And then the OBX with like the peach as the O. This one's really adorable. This is 97014. Okay, so I don't know what happened. I think I forgot about this one because I did not make this one. I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened at all, but I did not make it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and just start making all of these. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. Okay, so I think the first pattern we're gonna do is just this one. I'm gonna just like go in order, I think. So this one, super cool. I think I'm gonna do really similar colors. So I have just white for the background and then this cool like dark teal color for like the lettering and stuff. And I'm gonna make it on this key ring. Um, I got these off of Amazon and they have a 3 4 inch one and then a one inch one. This one is a one inch one. Since this um, bracelet is 17 strings wide, I'm gonna use this one, the one inch one, because the 3 fourths inch ones obviously are smaller, but these ones can only fit around like 14 to 15 base strings. These ones can fit a little bit more, so I'm gonna use this bigger one. And yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, we gotta talk about the Peterkin charges against Rafe and that whole debacle, the fact that, you know, his dad quote-unquote committed suicide and then left a video being like it was me i take the blame for everything you know and then the police saw it and was like yeah that's fine we'll just go with that even though they literally had physical evidence against rafe they just dropped the charges it was very much like glossed over and i don't even think they even revisited that at all so what's up with that because hello like i, I just I didn't like that at all and that's just not how that would go down in like the real world like the real world if you make a confession they're gonna try to back up your confession because people can falsely confess to protect their loved ones and it literally would make so much sense because that's literally his dad anyways i just thought that was really ridiculous all right and here is the finished product i really like how this turned out it kind of like <laughs> tapers um but that kind of happens sometimes i'm trying to like stretch it out 
A lot of people always ask like how I get my edges so straight. Honestly, you can really like mess with bracelets. They're pretty malleable. So you can kind of like mess with them and make them look nicer. So um, I actually did this with an extra base string. I didn't even realize until I literally got to like here. I was like, wait a second, it doesn't work. I was like, what happened? So I accidentally did an extra base string. That was my fault, but I think it still looks fine. But I like this a lot. I think it turned out really nice and I'm really happy with it. I love it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one I want to do is like this OBX one with like the Hawaiian flowers. Um, I like this one a lot. I don't know if I like love the black writing and I'm, I kind of want to do something different, but I don't know what color I would do. So I don't know. I think I'm going to just stick with the black to be honest. I was looking at the photos and like it looks good. Like, you know, it looks fine. I think it's really pretty. Oh, that one's cool with the tie dye. <gasps> These are so cute. This is, so, oh my God, this is so good. This picture is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, that's cute. These are cute. Oh my God, these are so cute. Oh my God, I can't look. Okay, just, just go, just go, just stop, just stop. I decided to go with this like corally orange color for the background. I don't know, it's kind of different. I wanted to do that. And then of course I have some white for the flowers. And then I think I'm gonna just use black for the writing, so. Yeah, let's get into making this one. I also didn't really like Rafe as a character. I really thought like the whole time he would like feel guilty. He would turn himself in. He'd have this whole character arc, but instead he just tried to kill his sister. So I like, I just, I wish there was more to his character because he's just a dick and like, it just kind of sucked. So I don't know. I would have liked to see some better character development with him because he was just shit dude all right so here is how the second keychain turned out i really love it i think it's so like summery and beachy and i actually do like the black lettering i thought it would be a little bit too harsh but i actually think it looks really nice i love the flowers i think this looks so good so the next pattern we're gonna do is this pogue one it has that um ombre blue with a little like hang loose hand um so yeah, this is the next one that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be pretty true to the pattern, so the background is going to be white. And then I picked out all of these blues to be my gradients. I feel like on video you can't quite see the color for exactly what it is, but yeah, that's the gradient we're going for. Let's get into making this one as well. Okay, and then we have to talk about the last episode because I did not like the way that the show ended. You literally go through the whole nine episodes or finding all this information, going on the scavenger hunt, finding the cross, doing all this, and then, you know, they lose the cross, whatever. They sneak onto this whole ship. They go through this whole plan. Cleo's on there. She's helping them. They, like, trap all the... Whatever. For them to literally leave the ship with literally nothing. Like, what was the point? You didn't get the cross. You didn't, like, you didn't get anything. They had it. Ward is still alive. You didn't even kill him. Why didn't you, why didn't he die? He should have died. He should have died. Why is he still alive? Like, I just don't appreciate the way that it ended, and I just think that they could have done a better job. And then, like, you know, John B's dad being alive still, like, I guess that's kind of a whole thing, but it's, like, for what? Why is his, is his dad even alive? I don't know. I didn't like it. Alrighty, so here is the finished keychain. I really like this one. Um, I love the ombre blue, and I think the little hand looks really cute at the end as well. It's really long compared to the other one that I did, but I think they look so good. I really like how this one turned out. The last pattern I'm gonna do in this video is this OBX one with like the wave behind it. I really like this one and I think it's different than like the other ones so yeah let's get into doing this one so I'm gonna use this really pretty peach color um, for the background I don't really like the yellow in the design so I'm gonna do a peachy color and then of course white and black white for the wave and then black for the lettering and then I'm using these two shades of blue to do the wave with so yeah let's get into making the last keychain I feel like my issue with Outer Banks and a lot of other shows is that they kind of just don't know when to like end it. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they'll just keep dragging out the seasons and it's like, it just gets to a point where it's just like, 
we're done. Like, we're over this. The main plot is over. You're just, like, adding extra fluff. And it's pointless. And I just... You know, and, like, John B's dad being alive is, like... It's a cool twist. But just everything that happened before it, I thought, was just such a pointless waste of time. Like, you went through all of this for literally nothing. Like, why? And I don't know. So I just... I don't know what they're going to do in season three. I don't know what they're going to add to the show. I'm going to watch it for sure. I still like the show a lot. But I just feel like they need to know when to end it. All right, so here is the finished and final keychain with the wave right here. There's the back. I think it looks really cute. I like the colors and how it turned out. And that's going to complete it for this video. These are all the keychains we made. I hope you guys like them all. All right, you guys, so these are all the keychains that we made today. I really love all of them. I think they all turned out super good, except for this one. Let's talk about her for a second. I'm not going to be selling this one. Um, I'm just not proud of it. And I think it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. The edges aren't super even, especially down here. And a knot right here. Um, you could actually kind of tell it was white, but it was supposed to be black. So I literally used a Sharpie to color it in black, which I just don't think that that's ethical to sell that. So, And then also um, a string on the edge here. Um, it was the last knot of that color. And so I cut the string off but the knot actually unraveled. So I just piled a ton of nail polish on it to seal it so the rest of it wouldn't unravel. So it's just not a good, it's just not a good one. So she's gonna just go on my keychain. I'm not gonna sell her because I feel like it's not good enough to sell, but the rest of these will be on my Etsy to purchase if you are interested. Also, I have some exciting news as well. I've been very busy making a ton of bracelets recently, so I'm adding a ton of new stuff to my Etsy. I'm going to show you guys everything really quick. Uh, oh, she's upside down. I have these butterfly bracelets, bringing back some Lucky Charms bracelets, and also bringing back some more of these wave bracelets. So cute. I'm also going to be relisting these pumpkin keychains um, on my Etsy as well. Super perfect for fall and Halloween coming up right now. I also made a ton of these daisy bracelets and they're all in different colors. How fun! I loved making all of these. These ones are probably my favorite, but I made these strawberry milk keychains. I have four. Oh my god! Do you see this? Oh my god, it looks so good. I love it. I'm also bringing back the boba keychains but this time we have purple pink blue and i'm adding green this time so we have four color options <sighs> so good i also made this random like butterfly keychain that i'm listing and then this cute hello kitty like pumpkin one oh, so good so i think that's everything this will all be dropping on my etsy at the time this video is uploaded so if you're interested in any of these things go right now and get them yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye.